Today, we'll be looking at On Becoming Fearless in Love, Work, and Life by Ariana Huffington. There are 12 main quotes from this book, which I'll go over. So, quote number one. Fearlessness is not the absence of fear, rather it's the mastery of fear. Quote number two, fearlessness and confidence in ourselves come not from what we do or what we accomplish or what we wear or how we look, but from a deep and complete acceptance of ourselves. Quote number three, ultimately the greatest beauty secret is to live out our passions and connect with our own spirit. Quote number four, how often do we as women move heaven and earth to structure our lives around getting a man to love us, to accept us, to honor us, to just like us, all so we can feel okay about ourselves? Intelligent, smart, talented, hard-working women allow themselves to be lost in the quest for one man's approval. They put up with his affairs, his whims, his indifference, his distance, his disregard, and his contempt. Quote number five, when we learn to accept ourselves, not just our public achievements and private successes, but also our failures in the inadequacies, cowardices, and desires, then we can transcend our fears. Six, it's nice to be nice, but it can be extremely draining and self-destructive when it mutes our voices, holds us back, and undermines our authenticity. Quote number seven, for both genders, money symbolizes so much in our culture and in our lives. We use it to measure our achievements. We use it as a barometer of our success. Quote number eight, whatever the personal price, we must speak about what matters. The world needs the leadership now more than ever. We may lose friends in the process, but we can no longer afford to remain silent. Nine. True fearlessness about money can only come only when we are not driven by insatiable desire for security, but have begun living a life driven by passion and purpose, regardless of our specific financial circumstances. Quote number 10, letting go, shedding, simplifying. These are all hard to do in a culture built on addition rather than subtraction. But when we stop holding on to things, will never use and stop struggling on uh, struggling to be who we are not we discover newfound energy and strength quote number 11 the important thing isn't whether your new venture is smashing success or a middling failure the important thing is that you're doing it quote number 12 when we are fearlessly who we are we don't need external validation just an opportunity to express ourselves live fully and serve the world Fundamentally geared more toward women, the book makes the case for owning whatever it is you're battling or going through, recognizing your worth and daring to prove it to others, or better yet, yourself.